so sorry about how i look but to kind of like explain more on this video that i'm watching so basically it's a testimony by james i don't i don't know how to say the same name so i'm not gonna say it but then yeah i'll show you guys the title you can just search it on youtube so i came across it today morning actually i came across it multiple times before and those times i would have just i skipped the video because i was like I don't know why I skipped it, but then today I saw it and I was like, okay, because I just wanted to watch something Christian. I was watching sermons, but they were not going through. So I was like, okay, let me try a different form of like learning about God. So I decided, okay, let me actually watch testimonies because I was, I never really watched testimonies. This is actually like my first time. Yes, I hear people like at church, maybe they share their testimonies and everything. But then me personally by myself making the time to actually sit down look for a testimony on youtube and watch one i never really made that time to so today i, cr I came across this one as i was scrolling through youtube and i was like okay let me watch this um testimony it's three hours long it looked intimidating at first but i was like i've seen this video a lot of times like i should just watch and stop skipping it because maybe it has like a really important message for me and currently i'm two hours in and yeah i've already learned so much like i've learned so much as christians i feel like it's important to like watch this kind of videos kind of like know the things that are going on around us because sorry there's this verse that says that our fight is not against flesh and blood but against the sorry but against the rulers and spiritual and spiritual forces of this world and like i never really fully understand what this verse meant like we're not fighting against flesh and blood but then after i read after listening to this testimony i kind of like now understand what it meant like there's so much going on around us and with the you with the human eye you can't really see it you need to like ask god to open the spiritual realm to like you to all see those things and i know it's not like i'm sure it's not pretty in that realm but then yeah like seeing someone who, ex who has experienced everything especially like experience it from the bad side of it like the evil side of it and changing and like being saved to come to like the the christian side of it it's like kind of crazy because you are hearing him like you hear like the test the tactics that the devil uses like he literally there's someone in the comment that literally said like the devil works 25 8 he doesn't work 20, 24 7 he works 25 8 he literally works over time because somewhere like they they research this like if you watch the testimony you know what i'm talking about but they research this people's like history like across 10 generations just to find a way just to find a weakness to attack them so you can just see like how determined the devil is to like win us to his side so as believers you must like like prayer really has an impact he also talks about these people that were praying like they did a 90 day challenge to pray and everything like it shows the power of prayer it's so important so i feel like we should literally really watch this testimony because they really open our eyes like for me honestly like you yeah, it really opened a lot and i've learned a lot as well i have taken down some notes that i'm definitely gonna continuously check back on i've learned about the importance of having a covenant with your, the people around you how important those people around you are like people have always said that we are all like a body in christ i don't know if i'm phrasing that right but then like we are all one body in christ so like and this is crazy because recently at church they were telling us about that we we're learning about fellowship and they were telling us about how we're like all supposed to encourage each other fellowship together come to church do all those things like praise the lord together because we are all the body of christ and if one part suffers we all suffer and even in this testimony he talks about that he talks about how there was the pastor i forgot his name and like he had these people around him that were also like i don't I, like i don't wanna butcher anything but then you should definitely watch this testimony it's really helpful it's really insightful and if you do feel free to like write in the comment what you have learned and everything but as for me i'm gonna finish this right now write down what i have wrote down what i've learned pray and everything because guys you know, prayer is really 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 important so yeah just encouraging you guys to do the same and yeah i've really learned a lot from this testimony and i'm not even done with it yet so when it comes to the part of salvation the part of forgiveness like it's gonna be amazing and yeah let me continue on hope you guys enjoy the vlog <laughs> 
Soften up the mess Drop it in the water Let the daughter find her image with the rest She'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity Reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And have a weight up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps Well, this bathroom has so much good lighting I forgot my toothbrush at my aunt's place, so going to the mall to get like why do I always have stains? I don't know. Oh, it's just water. But then I'm going to the mall to get a toothbrush and I don't know what else, but then yeah. And I'm in the girls room so like don't mind that but yeah what I, I want to do right now is edit my vlog I'm literally supposed to post tomorrow but I literally haven't started anything I've been cruising this holidays and I've been loving every single second of it but then now it's time to actually edit and post hopefully tomorrow but then yeah we'll see so yeah I'm just gonna grind this video I don't know until when until I feel saturated I guess so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog and all of that. So yeah, let's edit. Now listen, daughter. Pay attention, pray and listen. Hear your father. These lies they told are so familiar. They will haunt you. They will kill you. Keep you hostage. Hey, King will do you. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So yeah, today is Wednesday and yeah. So what I wanna do, it's currently like half past 11. And right now I wanna take a shower and I'm going to the mall at like 12. It's just like a walking distance. I'm just gonna walk there. And yeah, my sister wants to get something for Kelewa Kelewa, which is my, who is my niece for like, she's going to a graduation party kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the shops and look for that and I think I might also get myself a crush because yeah, it's been a while Yeah, let me know in the comments whether you prefer a crush or a McFlurry. I think I'm a crush girl. I don't know I don't know, but then yeah, I'm just gonna show right now and everything and I'll see you guys when I'm all done Yo, you guys are literally sitting on the edge. One mistake It's over for me, but then anyways let me shower and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, so I'm done getting dressed and yeah, I'm just gonna put on this hat. I got it from Shein. 
but yeah, i'm just gonna i'm actually gonna take this bag because it's like the only bag that i brought i'm just literally gonna put my phone and keys in here and my lip gloss yeah those are the only things i'm gonna put in here and then yeah, i'm going to the mall right now what i'm gonna do it's like 12 o'clock already and i'm gonna lock the doors and go wash let's see my hair smells not gonna lie not gonna lie yo i need to take it out yeah i think this works and then i'm just gonna go drink some water take my lip gloss take the keys lock the doors and head out hopefully i'll be back in an hour i don't know i also need to buy that because i need to be texting my sister and asking him stuff she, i need to also come back and edit because that video yesterday i only finished the rough cut i only need to add music and then that's all so that's not a lot but the wi-fi is like kind of slow so it's okay but yeah i'll catch up with you guys when it's time to go i got this bag from a surprise like a while ago i have some water Guys, guess what? Man? I knew this thing of leave, me leaving my Starhead bank card would end in tears. So, yeah, I finished shopping and everything. I also got a top for my mom that she wanted. And yeah, I'm going to. What's this? I'm, yeah, I went to like PEP to like send the package back home using PEP C, like the PEP courier service. And I wanted to do that. Man. So, when I got there, they're like, they're doing the thing. They gave me the bag and everything. And like, do you have an ID? I'm like, I, like I forgot my wallet so I don't have my ID on me and then they're like we well, didn't ID like I was, can I just enter the number my ID number manual they're like no you have to scan your ID like yeah so now I'm walking back home to fetch my ID and then um, I don't even know if I want KFC anymore then I'm so tired from walking around all day like give a girl a break <laughs> You guys, I have a story time. Like today is really not my day. So yeah, <coughs> sorry. So I was in KFC. You know? I got my crush and I decided to sit there because I was tired from like walking up and down. So I decided to like sit down and have it because yeah, I just wanted to like relax for a bit before I started the journey back home. And it's like not far from the mall. It's like maybe like five ten minutes away. It's not that far. And then yeah, I was like, okay, let me just sit and drink my crush. So I'm there sitting scrolling on Instagram just so I keep myself occupied. And then this guy comes in. I'm sure he's like in his late twenties, like early thirties, nyana. And he comes there and he sits with me. He's like, hi. I'm like, hi. He's like, I I was in the parking lot. I don't know if you saw me, but I saw you come here and you're sitting alone. So I thought I should join you. I'm like, I didn't answer. Then he pulls out the chair. Then he sits. I'm like, okay, do as you want, cause I can't just like chase you away. So I was just sitting there and yeah, he's like, what's your name? I tell him my name and stuff. And he's like, um, where are you going after this? I'm, I said, I'm going home. He's like, home as in home around or like home far. I'm like, home around. He's like, okay. I'm, he's like, mm, okay. He's like, okay, I have a car outside. I don't know if you saw it, but I can like give you a ride if you want to ride. I'm like, I don't even know your name because I didn't ask for his name. Like, he's like. He was like, can I, or maybe I can get your number. I'm like, uh, no thanks. And he's like, why? I'm like, I'm just not interested. And he was like, he was like uh, maybe it's, maybe I'm the problem. Like, is there something with, wrong with me? Like, appearance-wise and stuff. And I'm like, nah, there's nothing wrong with you. Just that, personally, I'm not interested. And he's like, oh, okay. Then that's when he mentions the like, car. Huh? I'm like, no, I'm good. I was just like a walk away so I can like, 
i can just walk there there's like okay no problem it's like okay then maybe i'll see you again around and this time around maybe things will turn out differently and i'm like okay maybe they will then he stands up and leaves then like a few minutes later i'm done with my crusher and i'm frustrated like there's no reason for me to stay there any longer then i like take my crusher and stuff then i put them in the dustbin so and i'm standing up i'm leaving then as i'm going i left and stuff then as i'm walking like and he comes up again in his car this time he's like thing out as in like you see and now you're working i could have given you a lift i'm like so i didn't respond to that i just left i just started working and i started calling my friend because i didn't feel safe just wanted someone to talk to on the road and it didn't answer it's fine so I'm working I'm like, okay, maybe he left because like he speeded off and left. Can't see the Mokai is waiting at the corner. <laughs> Yo, guys, and he's there. Like he was anchoring my way. It's like going straight. So you like, I don't know, like, what's in your corner? The coolest speed. So when he, when I was passing by, like he reversed and said, you see now, how far are you from where I left you? It's like he's being like, all corny and stuff trying to like make me feel bad for not taking his offer on the lift trying to make me feel like i'm missing out by not agreeing to his um what's this to what he suggested like i can't just like you expect me to get in your car i don't even know your name i don't even know where you're from you look way i'm 18 <laughs> you look way older than me like mm -mm. Mm -mm. what if i get in the car you lick the doors you lock the doors and you take me to some place like the fact that i'm i don't even know Artridgeville. i don't know this place i don't know this place i'm just visiting my aunt and it's my first time here so i like don't know anything so even if he like str even if he leaves me somewhere stranded i don't even know how to come back <laughs> so i'm like i'm not getting your car i'm not interested so yeah so he was like you see you could have been like fine yeah, and i'm like no i'm good <sighs> then he i don't know where he ended up i just passed by and came back home i'm safe now ladies stay safe out there now listen daughter pay attention pray and listen hear your father his lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you